my name is Rachel and today we're going to be talking reading goals. So in this video we're going to look back at my 2021 goals, see how well I did this year, and then we're going to look ahead at 2022. So my first goal was just absolutely insane. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> even when I watched back my 2021 goals video, I was even saying in the video I'm not going to make this goal. So why did I set it? I have no idea. But I decided I was going to read 120 books this year. And I mean, I just don't even know what I was thinking because I haven't even broke like 90. I don't even know if I've broken 80 the past couple of years. It's been insane. Through the pandemic, I just have really hit a nosedive because everything's been stressful and I tend to just kind of veg out and watch TV when I'm super stressed. So I don't know where I came with that 120. And I think I even immediately knew that because I think pretty much a month or two into the year, I changed my goal on Goodreads to be 52. And I can proudly say that at this point in the year, a month out from the end of the year, I have reached 69 books. So I surpassed my Goodreads goal and I would low key like to get to 75, I think this year. So I think I can do that. I'm about to, I, I'm working on a book right now, which would take me to 70. And I can pretty much guarantee I'll read five books in December. So I feel very confident that I'm gonna get to 75. I don't know what I was thinking with 120. So my next goal was to read 24 books off of my TBR, books I already owned or at least gathered this year. <laughs> so off of my shelf and not from some other source. So I have at this point, at the end of November, have read 27. So check, I made that goal. I'm so excited. Um, that just means that I'm getting some books moved off of my TBR to my red pile, which has to happen. From now on I have so many books on my TBR so I'm super excited that I have met that goal and it might even go up in the next month but the point is I met the goal. <laughs> the next goal was to read 24 new releases so books published in the year 2021 and with that I have read 26 and I think I don't think I'm going to read any brand new releases for the rest of the year so that's probably going to be the final number but still check I made it I did it again and I'm super excited that I met this goal again another thing I really wanted to do because it seemed at the end of the year I would get to these awards list especially like the Goodreads Choice Awards and I'd be like I wanted to read all of these but I just didn't so I really like reading a lot of the new releases and being able to kind of join in and fun at the end of the year and be like oh yeah I read that I read that <laughs> even if I didn't like it and don't want to vote for it that's fine I just want to be involved and have read some of them so I'm super excited that I also met that goal now the next goal I made was for the read harder challenge by book riot um, they usually put out 24 challenges and I'm never able to hit it. So I made my goal to hit 12 of the challenges this year. And at this point I've met eight and I just don't think I'm probably going to get any more on that list this year, but still eight's pretty good. I think that's one of the higher numbers that I've gotten before. So I'm okay with that, but technically I didn't meet that goal. <laughs> uh, next and last number five was to have less books on my TBR at the end of the year than I did at the beginning, even if it was just like one. And I failed. <laughs> I actually think I have like probably like at least 25 more. However, I think I am going to do like a huge like weeding of my collection because I have several that I got because everybody was talking about and I feel like I should read but I just don't want to I just never think to pick it up when I'm like looking through my list for like readathons or what I'm gonna read each month or whatever I see it and I'm always like eh, I'm not in the mood I'm not in the mood so if I'm not in the mood now I don't think I'm ever gonna be in the mood <laughs> so I think I need to get rid of a lot of them so technically this could happen if I do it before the end of the year but I doubt I think I have more, <laughs> but we'll work on it next year. We'll work to try to get that number down. I'm not going to be bothered. So basically I only met two of my five goals. So, wah, wah. <laughs> but so, so you would think I would be like, okay, Rachel, let's set more reasonable goals this year. But no, <laughs> I, I'm going to double down and max it out this year. Okay. So let's get into the 2022 goals. So first up is to read six cozy mysteries this year. Um, I've really been enjoying cozy mysteries and I've recently bought several. So I just really like to put that on the goal list officially to make sure I keep it a priority. Um, similarly with goal number two, I wanna read six 
romance this year. I have several. I think I would really enjoy them. I just want to make them a priority so that I actually get to them. So I guess my idea with goal one and two is to read like one or the other every month. So I could read like a cozy this month and then a romance next month, etc. until the end of the year. So I'd really like to read six cozies and six romances. So goals three, four, and five deal with reading challenges. So goal number three is to read 12 books for the Golden Girls reading challenge prompts. Um, I just announced this recently. I'll leave information down below. Essentially, there is a Golden Girls readathon related task prompt every month for you to complete. So my goal is to read a book that meets all 12 prompts for the Golden Girls readathon. Similarly, uh, goal number four is to read 12 books that meet the 12 buzzword readathon prompts. Um, there, it's set up the same way. There is a book every or a prompt every month that you try to make and you rack up 12 total. So my goal four is to read 12 books that meet the 12 prompts of the buzzword reading challenge. And then goal number five is to have completed at least 12 read harder challenge prompts. Now I'm going to be kind of crafty this year. I think some of these I can double up on with the read harder challenge. So I may not even have to actually read 12 books to meet 12 goals. Or maybe I can read 12 books and even get more goals. I don't know. But the goal is to read enough books to get through 12 of the 24 Read Harder Challenge books. Now, you may be saying, wow, girl, that is a lot of challenges. But I've been looking and I think there's a lot of ways I can cross over. So I could use like one book to cover maybe all three that month or one book to at least cover two. So it's not going to be... 12 different books for each of the three challenges every month. Um, I'm going to try to overlap as much as I can, especially using my next two goals. So goal number six and seven are repeats from last year. Goal number six is to read 24 new release books. So that's books published in 2022. I really enjoyed this last year. I think it's a great goal to keep me on top of some of the new releases so that I don't feel that kind of like um, FOMO at the end of the year where I've missed out on all these books and I can't really participate in a lot of the end of the year lists and awards and excitement. So 24 new books and whenever I can find one of these that meets one of the reading challenges, I am absolutely going to use it as like a double a double count. Similarly with goal number seven, I want to again read 24 books off of my TBR. So any book that I own will count for this. And again, I'm going to try to use those as much as possible. And I got to keep reading these books to make a dent in them. Um, that leads into goal number eight, which is a repeat of last year again, which is to have less books on my TBR at the end of the year. So like a dis uh, January one, I'm going to write down in my little notebook here how many books I own. And then I'm going to count again at the end of the year. And I want it to be less. And I want it to be less whether it is um, from calling and donating books or reading books or whatever. I just want the number to be less because the higher it gets, the more like stressful it feels to try to read all of them. And I just, I don't want to feel like daunted by my own book collection. So we got to keep chipping away at that. So number eight is all about having less books on my TBR by the end of next year. And then my very, very last goal, number nine, is to read at least 75 books. That's what I'm going to set my Goodreads goal to. And I just want to have read 75 books. And considering all these other goals, I feel like that if I can meet the other ones, I will definitely get this. So yikes. And again, you're probably thinking exactly what I'm thinking. Like if you only did two out of five this year, why in the heck are you giving yourself more goals? But um, I don't know. I'm crazy. <laughs> One, I can't say no to a challenge. And two, I am finding that it is more it is more productive for me to have goals than to just pick random books throughout the year because I, I don't end up getting what I want if I just leave it to kind of whimsy and chance and how I'm feeling. So if there's something I want to do, for instance, like read more cozy mysteries or romance, I really need to make it a goal so I can kind of create a structure around it. So I don't know how well I'll do on nine goals, but 
here's hoping. So let me know down in the comments what kind of goals you set. If you set goals last year, how did they go? Um, what is your strategy with setting goals? Um, do you just go like willy nilly and just not set any reading goals? Are you just one of those people that just reads for the fun of it and not track everything like crazy like I do? Um, what are some things you do to keep you on track with your goals? Let's just talk goals, reading goals, books, all the fun stuff down in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.